Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore and this is Labyrinth of Toho 2. So I went ahead and hit the blue switch and got back over here. Let's continue. I did level up off screen, just to... Pretty much only a few characters leveled up once, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I've been working on the skills I pretty much said I was going to work on, so don't worry about that. Uh, we do need the green door though, which kind of sucks. Which means we can also handle the door that's close by as well. So I guess it's not all bad. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to head back. Yep. That's pretty much it for this area. Okay, so let's head back real quick. We'll hit the green switch and hit all the areas uh, prior. There we go. So yeah, if we head... Yeah, north is fine. Assuming this is actually north. It's really up to however you wish to look at it, I guess. Alright, let's head this way. Old nooks and crannies. I did use the uh, money we got from the previous video to level up some stats for characters that I, I've been neglecting, such as Kogosa. Her stats aren't too bad for someone I've been kind of neglecting, so that's, that's something. Let's go back the other way, because that's going to be a dead end for sure. Um, let's see. But yeah, as far as stats are concerned, they're okay. I think she's actually stronger than freaking Kasa now. Yep, she is. So yeah, Kassen definitely does kind of taper off. Kind of weird. I mean, before she just like destroyed bosses. Now she's practically just kind of there. I mean, she can take hits, sort of. I mean, I could just make her into another tank at this point. But that will kind of not make that will kind of make most of her skills not that useful, like her ability to like shock and all that. Which is already kind of questionable against most bosses, unfortunately. Alright, head on down here. Another Kalara crystal. It's your lucky day, Nazren. Wait, stat-wise, I don't think uh, Kagosa and stuff are really having that much trouble. It's simply the fact that I've been giving the best gear to the same characters. Hmm, Marissa, did you hear something? Hmm, yeah, there's something. Ah, this is the sound of battle. Oh, Reimu, a bunch of people are fighting past that valley. Hail to the three treasures! She's fast. Hehe, <laughs> the magic within my sutra scrolls can enhance any human to this standard easily. Have at you. Ugh, don't get overconfident, you commoner. You are open. If you only pay attention to Byakuren, you're going to be in a world of hurt. Why, you little, all you impertinent fools. The golden glow has finally arrived. We are not quite a match for that. Byakuren, we retreat now. You won't get away! Ah, and off they go. Hope those two manage to get away. Both of them uh, seem quite used to battle. I suppose I should expect no less from my head priest than the Ebna. The priests I know aren't the type to melee on the front lines, though. You're just so behind the times, Korra, and priests can do really good work by dumping everything into strength. Is that so? Yep, it is. I'm sure those two uh, should be able to get away easily. They've helped to exhaust uh, Tenchi, too. What's bugging me more now is Tenchi's behavior. Here, uh, let's see. Her power is still there, but her personality is all out of whack now. Hmm. When we bumped into her on the sixth floor, we st uh, she still acted like the normal Tenshi. At, the at that floor, the Celestial did indeed uh, seem more like the playful type. The Bloodthirsty Celestial is now almost uh, is now almost seems like a different person in comparison. 
I don't think the power she attained has anything to do with it. So surely no one changes that much from power. Care to test that theory once we get the Ame no Murakumo back? I like myself as I am uh, right now, thank you very much. Besides, it's not like you'd ha uh, thought any better of me when I actually did have it, no? Haha, uh, don't be so sore. I do agree though, if power changes you that much, then it's something I don't want either. Anyway, let's not get left behind by them. We've got our own path to walk. Agreed. Let's keep on moving. Yeah, I definitely like those sorts of events where it's like, okay, we're still doing our thing. And even though the other characters are super duper powerful, they're kind of doing their thing as well. And you get to see some of it, so that's something. It's not just nothing but mysterious mysteriousness for the entire thing. Anyway, we need to deal with that red portal. Hmm. So yeah, we can turn off the red portal there. We'll have to turn it back on, of course. But... We'll have to come back here one way or another. Alright. Yay, a negligible amount of money. That's for, it gets you a few stat level ups, depending on what uh, level you're at. chest. There's still a few chests we haven't opened in like previous floors, but those are like the very beginning floors, so it's really not worth the effort. Kaboom. Are we looping? Awesome. Love loops. Means I can clear out this part of the map without any issue. Alright, what do we got here? More Midnight Oil, some Swiftness Gems, some Tomes of Reincarnation, and a Meteor Drive. All pretty good stuff. Uh, let's take a look at the Meteor Drive, and I'm getting a message. I will answer it in a second. The best engine obtain ob obtainable mid-game. Dropped rarely by Speed King. It makes the rest of the game easy, but Speed King is tough and the drop rate is awful. By the way, Singmit plus Smokescreen makes uh, Speed King toothless. Uh, defense in Mind 24%, Speed 72%, and Evasion 12, Wind 64, and Heavy 32. All dandy. Alright. It's almost a good Moco item. Um, simply because it gives you extra speed, but the also problem with uh, that is Moko's affinities are an issue because I have a bunch of debuff items on her. So who should get it? I don't think anyone really at this point. Yeah, we'll just leave it be for now. Alright, let me be right back. Okay, that should be dealt with. So we'll finish exploring what we can. Uh, we do need to hit the, the red switch if I recall correctly. Shining black stones. Oh yeah, my reach is a little bit faster now because I finally upped our speed. 
probably not the best thing to do with a tank, but Momiji's already too fast to begin with, so I might as well just go all out. Do, 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 do. Huh, what do we have over here? Probably something I can't reach. Probably something I can't reach. We also need to hit the blue d uh, switch. Awesome. And Hina is out of MP. Not a big deal. Farsi will take over. In the meantime... So there's a red and blue that we can go through, which is nice. Also, did we just hit a circle? Yes, we did. Awesome. So yeah, that gauge leads to another item. Not a big deal. We can also hit these little paths here, which is nice. Which actually could help us out a little bit. So we can head to that other way. Uh, it might take us to those that path we were trying to open up before, before we got sidetracked. Alright, let's do what we know best. Yay, extra XP. Red door, blue door. Oh, I get to choose. That's different. Also, we need to get the little parts we missed over there. I mean, I could reveal it, you know, once I get the blue switch uh, changed, but I can't stand it. I have to explore everything as I see it. Yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Um... Uh, with how quickly I kill things, I'm, I'm probably better off like switching in someone else besides Kogosa. That way I have another nuker if need be. Oh, good thing I went over here. Uh, Lip Lipus Lazuli Lights, which I have tons of. Alright, so with that taken care of, let's keep going. Alright, revealed. So, which is the right way? Both. Alright. And there's of course more. More to deal with. Never ends. How are we doing battle point wise? Might as well take a look. 48. So almost one sixth of the way. So yeah, I mean... Doing this while recording videos seems to be working out in my favor. Okay, dead end. Open path over there, but I can't get to it. Lots of little loops, that's nice. Die, please. Thank you. Charge and charge. That gets you, um. I think it's fire resistance? I don't remember. Okay, done with that. Okay, a red gate. Convenient. Yeah, it would be more efficient to actually use Nazarene spells, but honestly, we don't really need that much extra XP at this point. We're going to be overleveled soon enough. Whoa, what's this? What the? Yikes, this is terrible. 
the place that Rima's group arrived at was littered with the bodies of horribly charred monsters. One, two, three. There's easily a, do a few dozen of them. What kind of overpowered attack could have burned all these monsters at once? Hmm, maybe it's the same person who made that crater at the floor bro below. Really? Who the heck could have done this? Ah. Uh, hmm, what's up? Ah, uh, my lady. What, cat got your tongue? Uh, two, Sakya? Ah, oh, wait. You mean... I was just thinking that I hadn't heard or seen anything of her in ages. What, do you do, uh, what did you do to her? We did nothing. It's none of your business anyway. Well, lady, this is why I advised you to bring her along with us on our picnic. That would have been terrible. If we did uh, bring her along, it, we wouldn't be having a picnic. We, we'd be having a splatter fest in the middle of the blazing fires of hell. I suppose that is true. Amelia, what are you talking about? It's nothing. This conversation is over. I saw nothing. I would think it would be best to be honest about the situation. Alright, event triggered. I think it's based off battle points, but it might be cumulative. It might not be 300 on each character, it might be just a total of 300, which means right now I have 200, which is probably enough to trigger the first event. I don't know, I'm, co I'm completely guessing. But if it ever reaches the point where I can, you know, get back my, my normal party, that'll be great. Alright, another Forbidden Tablet. What can we do with the Forbidden Tablet? Well, that answer is pretty simple. So, Forbidden Tablet. This will increase your magic to stupid levels. What will I lose? Uh, some wind resistance. Some speed. Uh, and some attack, which is not that important. Yeah, I'm fine with that. There we go. Hey, Nazarene. Want this? Actually, it might be good to have this instead. Yep, that's a flat upgrade. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna be vulnerable to dark again. Not a big deal. Awesome. All right. Progress. Hey, Nazarin's faster again. Good to know. All right, Nazarin's down to one stamina, so I'm gonna swap her out. Uh, who should take the lead? I don't know, I don't care. Here. No, I don't want to switch her in. Ah, excuse me. Well, one way or another, we're going to have to swap you in. Uh, here, Eren, you can hang out. Okay, let's head up here. Spider soul. Yay, crafting materials. Uh, the crafting's not too bad in this game. It's, um, I mean, there's the shop. The, 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 uh, excuse me. The addition of the shop and the crafting is definitely kind of unique and allows you a little bit more flexibility about how you want your characters to be set up. Um, so for the most part, most of the stuff you can craft and buy, you can get easily. Huh, good thing that missed. Um, as far as selling its items, that was already in um, the plus disc of the previous game, so that's nothing new. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've, I have definitely crafted a few things, but most cases I don't need to craft anything, because I usually have so many items, because they drop and stuff like that. But there are those few items that you have to craft that are not easily found through drops, like the um, debuff resistance items and stuff. Alright, Sentry's End Jacket. Didn't we already get this? Yeah, I have one already. Okay. Okay, um, we need to hit that passageway over there and hope for the best. Actually... Wait, how are you going first? Whatever. Alright, let's go and, um, we'll go ahead and try that passageway real quick. Um, I believe I need, what portal do I need over here? 
can't see. Oh, because I'm going the wrong way. It's down this way. Uh, I need the blue one. All right. All right. Here's where things are gonna get a little bit interesting. Uh, I am running out. I am practically out of supplies. That attack really hurt. That person's defense just went skyrocketing. Hey, I did one damage. Hey, I heavy you. Whatever. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it works alright, I guess. Could have been better. So yeah, I need a blue portal. Um, first we'll do this. So yeah, if we go in from this side, I can have the red portal um, taken care of. Yeah, we have to in order to get through here. So we're literally at the end here. But we can't get through, because guess what? Red switched. Good news is we pretty much have cleared out everything. Okay, so... We have to hit, uh, we got a few portals we gotta hit. Uh, there's one all the way over there, which I have, I didn't even, for, I don't even know what we need for that. I'm assuming blue, possibly green? I don't know. Let's find out. Alright, so we, so we can actually have, you know, more attack power. We'll swap in here and... And by more attack power, I mean more prolonged attack power, because the iron's not going to really help much. Okay, so we know we need the blue, so let's hit the blue. And we'll go from there. Alright. Also, technically, we need to hit the red, so we'll go ahead and do that now. So we definitely need green always active in order to get over here, I think. Or maybe we don't. No, I think we do. It's kind of hard to tell with the map because the diagonals are really weird. Yeah. So we're good there. Let's head to the far corner over there and see what's there. Azrin's faster. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do with you then. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do this, can't I? Well, I need to make Hina faster then, because... That ain't gonna work for me. Alright, let's get to that corner. It's red. I guess we didn't have it switched earlier. Great hammer. What could that be? Alright. Great hammer. Yeah, that's what I figured. An item that can break statues blocking uh, statues blocking roads in secret areas. Obtained in Undernet 7, but you can have defeated Fly uh, Flame Man version 3 to get past his security cube and go through Undernet 6. Rather annoying to get. Add shock uh, effect to all attacks. Eh, not too bad. Most of these stat effect items are probably not that fantastic anymore, to be honest. Okay, um... If we follow along here, we should be able to get to the blue gate. 
and then we can teleport back flip the red switch again and then try to get to that portal again Not that didn't work Alright, give me my item. It's mine. Pride. Okay. I think we already have a few of those, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay, so... Take a look at the map here. Head to that uh, passage... Well, actually, no. No point in heading for the passageway until we hit the switch. So, let's do that real quick, and see if we can finish up this floor. So we need to hit the red switch. No, is it? No, we hit the... Yeah, we need to hit the red switch again. That's what we need to do. No, wait, we hit the red switch already. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Wait, does that mean I'm already... I was fine, I could have just gone through the freaking... Uh, I'm an idiot. Well... Let's see where this takes us. And yes, I'm going to show this on screen. You guys will see my pain. I could have completed this, couldn't I? No, wait, I couldn't. I had to... I need to hit the blue switch again. That's what I needed to do. I am confused. I am confuzzled. So we need to hit the red switch. Or blue... Dead... Just whatever. Just... Let's kill something. Kill some monsters. That's what I'm good at. So yeah, I guess it is slightly more complicated than I uh, mentioned before. Oh wow, I can move this? Well, there's not really any point in moving it unless the map gets too big. And so far, it's gotten pretty big, but it hasn't gotten that big. Alright, well I can't kill this. I can soften it up. Alright, onwards. And I'll try to ignore all the screaming that's happening right now, telling me I have the wrong switches done. Alright, so I had the blue. That's good. That's a good sign. Blue means good, right? Right? Blue. Can't see what I'm fighting. Can I kill you? Kaboom. Green. Red, finally. Alright, so we're done with this floor. Yay. I don't think there's any events I missed. Uh, do, do, do. No, there are no events we missed. Um, there are some extra areas... I think towards the south that we can't reach from here though, so we'll eventually have to come back here. The golden plains where one meets the sky. Checkpoint get. And guess what? More of these. What do we have here? Only those who have defeated the mirror of power may pass. Alright, so we have to kill bosses. Alright then, what about over here? There, and here. Okay, so we got two paths to pick from, and that's about it. Pretty straightforward. We'll go ahead and head out. Call it a video. I am the Depressed Hero, and this was Labyrinth of Toho 2. See you guys later.